this down here and put another coat of boiled linseed oil on these pieces. Now admittedly, I'm going to probably curve most of this off on the bottom, but I'm doing this just to seal up the board, see if I can't get these splits and checks to close up a bit. Union Plane Company, New Britain, Connecticut. <sighs> well, it's a nice little mess I made there. Take this up and throw it in the snowbank. There's a problem with these screws. Putting the boiled linseed oil on those holes seems to close them up a little bit. I mean, these just basically pulled out before. And this one. is to the point where uh, there's really nothing there holding it. So I'm thinking of ways to make these holes back the way they were. have seen me use this in other videos. It was something I purchased, oh lord, back when I was doing the bathroom 
in Union City and I needed to cover up screw holes and this tool here drills a countersunk hole for an 8 to 9 screw leaves a 3 8 hole where the flathead screw is countersunk below the surface this is also for an 8 to 9 screw how did I end up with two of these? I don't know. This one's a little deeper. Must be their different parts of the set. I, I haven't bought any new ones that I'm aware of, but I did manage to break one. This is for the six to seven. That's what I was using in Union City. I was putting on oak paneling over a whirlpool tub and I did a lot of holes and I just plain wore this one out going through all that oak. Still works. Still makes the right size hole for a uh, six to seven screw head, but I have to drill a pilot separate and it's hardly worth the trouble. This is for a four to five. So is this one. This is for 10 to 12. I've never used this one because I can't make plugs for it. But what I'm thinking is this makes 3 8 diameter plugs out of anything. You take any old scrap piece of wood. I can just use this, drill a hole in it, snap the plug out of the middle of the hole, and use it to plug a piece of pine. Well, this isn't pine. I think this is beech because most of the plain bodies were made out of beech. You may recall this find that I, I managed to score the other day. This is a uh, group of plain pieces. And this is a plain body that somebody just plain screwed up. Uh, now there's an argument that could be made that I could fix this. But honestly, it's so full of nails and split and damaged in so many ways that I'd have to x-ray the thing to find all the nails to get them out. Then I'd have to drill out and pull all those nails. And by the time I did that, there wouldn't be anything left of this thing but a worm-eaten piece of crap that was too broken to work. So what I think I can do is I think I can take a piece of this screwed up plane, use this to drill a core, Make a plug, drill a 3 8 hole into that with a 3 8 Forstner bit so I get a nice flat bottom on it. Drive in a 3 8 plug, glue it, glue it and drive in a 3 8 plug. Fill those one, two, three, four, five holes. And then this plain body will be strong enough to support the screws that hold the casting onto it. Now, yeah, I know the, the bottom is pretty screwed up. But the body itself is actually fairly good. Uh, the, the mouth opening isn't really too bad. And I can perhaps come up with a piece of hardened wood of some kind, hard wood of some kind, to cover over that. Just had a crazy idea. When my son was living here, we set him up in office so he could do his homework. And part of the office, well, actually all of the office was carpeted. And he wanted to use a office chair. 
So he bought this really cool bamboo floor mat. And what it was is a, like a tambour top for a bench or for a, a desk. It was held together with this cloth. It acted like hinges, so you could roll the whole thing up and put it away. And the reason for using bamboo is it's incredibly dense, incredibly hard. So if I was to take this and cut it, glue it. Cut it, plane it off edge to edge, get it straight and square, clean off all this crap on the bottom, and glue it onto this, and then cut the mouth through it, I would have an incredibly hard bottomed, slick, smooth running plane. And that would take care of the material that I'm going to have to take this, take off of this to get it to square up. I think that's an awesome idea. It's a plan going ahead. This is a gunsmith shop. No trust. Goods left here after 30 days will be sold for charges. It's a neat old workbench. All those cherries there were used to make bullet molds. And there's bullet extractors and burrs and using a blacksmith vise to do a gun stock, which is kind of unusual. Double barrels. Single barrels. Single shot. Then down there is a repeater. Very nice display. Tin ceiling. Winchester Repeating Arms Company.